ještě dva fazy, která to bílí, co je lepší. Gently close your eyes, please, I love you. <coughs> Keep your spine straight. And just for a minute, come down and relax. Sit down in a comfortable posture, whichever is suitable for you. And simply, consciously go on relaxing each and every part of your body from bottom to top. A jednoduše a vědomě zkuste zrelaxovat všechny své tělesné části. you inhale and exhale. Just be aware of your breathing for a while. While inhalation is happening, see that abdomen is expanding. With exhalation, contraction is taking place. Slow, deep, long, breathe in, and slow, deep, long, breathe out. Keep a little smile on your face. As the breath is coming in, think that you are receiving the cosmic energy to purify to energize yourself. As you exhale, just imagine that, just think that all negativities, all boundaries, illness, they are going away. You are emptying yourself through exhalation. The moment you inhale, tremendous happiness, joy, and energy that you're receiving from Christmas. Now let us stand home three times together. Again take a deep and long breath in.
Namaskar Mudra. Folded palms in front of your chest. Namah Shivaya Gurave Satchidananda Murtaye Nishprapanchaya Shantaya Niralam Vayate Jase Namo Namah Yogi Nanchittasya Padena Vacham Malam Sharirasya Chavidyakena Yo Pakarutam Pravaram Munina Patanjalim Pranjadiranatosmi Avahu Purushakaram Shankachakrasidharinam Sahasrashirasam Shvetam Pranamami Patanjalim Shri Urubhyo Nama Harihi Om Om Shanti 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 I slowly bow your head down to heart and gently rub your palms and make them warm. Place them on the rise and forehead, whole facial region. Remove your hands and open your eyes, please. So, welcome to this class. And uh, let us see what is coming up. And if you are mentally ready and open, receptive, then everything will be all right. If you have tremendous fear, resistance, then everything will be so complicated and painful. So it's up to you, up to your choice. Okay. So we start now. Uh, first, the practice we are going to follow is uh, Kapala Bhati. Kapala uh, is a human skull, the brain. Bhati is to shine, to brighten. Tak, vítejte na dnešní lekci a všichni, co budeme dělat, je Ghopal. Kapala. Ghopala. No, no, Kapala. Kapala. You, you have in uh, Czech language. Kapala. So, to how to uh, purify, how to energize your brain? Budeme se snažit o vyčištění a o energetizaci našeho mozku. So, uh, this is also called, known as uh, fire breathing. And let's see. Yeah, Very simple to follow. Okay, so let us sit down in Vajrasana. <coughs> This is one of the highly beneficial practice. With the empty stomach, you must do uh, either in the morning or the evening. So, uh, could you please check your nostril, which is active and which is inactive? Simply put your thumb in front of your nose and exhale. You'll feel the warm air is coming out through one, another is blocked. Uh, najděte, která vaše nosní dírka je funkční a která ne, a zjistíte to tak, že budete dýchat, a ze které uh, vychází více horké vzduchu, ta je víc funkčnější. Yeah. So, whichever is active, we start from that. When you do this, when you do this, just notice please here, then you can see what is happening here, then we can go together. So suppose my left is open. I block my right nostril with my right thumb. Suppose my right is blocked, I block my right nostril and the left is open. So, right one is blocked with thumb, left one is blocked with last two fingers. Here, here. So, which is open? It depends on you. Pravou nosní dírku blokujeme palečkem a levou nosní dírku blokujeme posledními dvěma prsty na té samé ruce a začneme s blokování té otevřené. Okay. A musíte ještě vnímat své břicho při dechu, abyste věděli, co dělá. 
So please look here. Look here. When you exhale, you forcefully, by effort, you contract your abdomen in a way. It's a strong stroke you are creating by effort, by focus. If mentally you are not focused here, it will simply not happen. Maybe happen, but you lose the balance after some time. So, just follow please. Můžete se soustředit na tu sílu, kterou dáváte do toho výdechu. Když vědomě nesledujete svoje břicho a tu sílu, co do toho dáváte, tak ji ztratíte. Takže při tom výdechu vědomě používáte břišní svaly. Very good. Now stop. This is exactly what we need to do. If you are not comfortable to sit down in this position, you simply can sit down also in this, no problem, okay? Be comfortable. Or you can take some support. So on one side, let us do 20 times, finish. Then hand down, relax for some time, do the same with the opposite side. Now, opposite side, please. After one cycle is finished, you have to relax, calm down. Don't start with opposite mostly immediately. Because the abdominal organs, they are, they are under tension during the practice. They need to be relaxed for a while. Otherwise, you will be over-exhausted. Okay. Now with both, with both, 40 times. Lips closed. Slowly open your eyes, please. Now let us start our yogi practice because Kapalbhati is one of the practice which wakes you up. And we call it yogi coffee. Yeah? Okay, so now let us start. Just follow. Just look here how it is going. Then we will do. So, first we are moving uh, to do spinal uh, exercise to open up our spine. So, always it is quite beneficial before doing any yogic practice, we do spinal rolling. Because our sympathetic, parasympathetic and central nervous system, they are running through your spine, beside your spine. They must be healthy, open, activized. So, for that reason, 
we need to do this practice. I am afraid of this machine, if it will fall off. How to manage? <laughs> I am a little bit confused. Yeah. Because if I do this, it might be broken. Okay. <laughs> Good argument. So I, uh, I just show you, you look and then we'll follow together. Interlocking the fingers around your knees, then. <laughs> when you sit up, that time you exhale, breathe out, expel the air out completely and stretch yourself out. <coughs> Spine should be stressed up. When you go back, look. You bend, you hunch your back like a football, and then you roll back. Here, inhalation is automatic. Don't inhale and stop your breath. If you hold your breath, it will be very uncomfortable. But you'll be tight, you cannot roll properly. So be careful of the breathing here. Here is exhalation. And here is automatic shuttle inhalation. And a Nadek, but automatic and shuttle inhalation. Okay, now let us start. Try. Come on. Yeah, try, try, try. If you don't, uh, if you hold your breath, your body simply becomes tight. Like if you have a tube with full of air, you cannot move it, you cannot squeeze it. So body is here squeezing. So if you fill up with air, then it will be difficult, painful for you. The flexibility that you have not you have not developed yet through long practice, just through rolling, simply rolling, you will build up flexibility just in a few days, you know, like that. So, one more time, I just uh, trying to show you, so to just press this technique, one more time. So this is how, and then the next practice. So I interlock my thumbs, both legs are tightened, 
and I keep my both arms also straight and stretched. Then from here, Did you follow? So when you stretch, when you bend forward, so that time you forcefully exhale through nose. And when you go to back, let the breath come in. Hmm? Now let's start. Yeah. Come on, do it. We do not have so much that how it will happen. Just do. You will come. Just do. Exhale from the video. We will spend for it. We will spend for it. We will have to exhale. Be straight. Both legs are tight. Both legs are tight. Or it will be tall. Come on, go on. Go on, go on. Let your spine be rolled and press up the floor. Testing to sky. Close your eyes and relax for a while. See what is happening on your spinal column. What is happening is on every cell and pore of your skin. Openness in your whole physical body from bottom to top. And now slowly turn to right and sit up. Turn to right and sit up slowly. How are you feeling? Good? Tired? <laughs> Something is moving, yeah? Something is happening. Okay, now let us stand up, please. Once again, stand up. Join your both legs and feet together. And from here, see, all yogic exercises are done never through open your lips. Always mouth is closed. You start to breathe through your nose during the process. Okay? Both arms beside your body. Inhale. And raise your heels up, stretch your spine, go up. Look front. Do not blink your eyes, look at one point in front of you. Keep your facial mus muscles relaxed, absolutely relaxed. Tongue is resting on the lower palate of your mouth. Jaws are relaxed. Raise your heels up and up. Lengthen your spine, elongated with your head. 
Open up your chest more. Create more space to breathe. Abdomen flat, contracted to back. Stay there. Mm. And exhale, slowly come down. Now legs apart. Little smile on your face. Don't forget. And both hands on your shoulder line. Look at my feet. So, remember that uh, your both feet, they must be parallel and toes in, heels out. Did you understand? Toes in, heels out. Now from here, inhale and exhale. Go slowly. And take your arm stretched. Upper arm is touching to your ear. Slowly and gradually go, go, bend towards your ankle. Try to bend your entire trunk from your hips, not from your floating ribs. And slowly inhale, come on. And exhale, go to the other side. Now, here, while maintaining the posture, you need to breathe. Don't stop your breathing. Constantly breathe in and out. Consciously breathe in and out. Let your belly move. Do not hold your breath. And don't hang your head. Your head should be aligned with your spine. Slowly inhale. Come up. And exhale down. Inhale, come up. Move your palms up. And exhale. Go to right. Don't sink your chest. Don't bend forward. Stay there. Open up the side of your trunk. And inhale. Come up. Straight up. And exhale. Beautiful. Stay there. Stretch like somebody is pulling your hands from the side. Keep little smile on your face. Don't be so serious. Intensity in practice. No seriousness. Inhale slowly come up. And exhale down. Take your both hands under the bottom. Here. Inhale, lift up your chest ribs. And exhale without bending your knees. Bend to back. Don't bend your knees, please. Don't bend your knees. And raise your head up, look front, then hips back to center, come back. Then inhale, come up. Then more, try to minimize the distance. And exhale. Catch hold your ankles with your both hands. Bring your head, bring your crown in order to touch the ground if it's possible. I'm not saying that it must touch, but try your best. And then slowly raise your head up. Try to keep your trunk straight. Inhale and come up. One more time. Take your both hands in the back. Support the button. Inhale, lift up your chest strips and 
Allow your hips to move forward. Don't bend your knees. Push your bottom and hips forward more. Roll your shoulders to back. Open up your chest. More open, your heart will be more open. And now raise your head up. And inhale. Hips back to center. And again, inhale. Maximize the distance between both feet. And exhale. Go with a little smile. Catch hold your ankles. And bend. Stretch. Breathe in and out. And slowly swing your arms, inhale from ground and come up. And exhale down. Okay. Good. Now, let us go to the next. Now what we are doing here is, we are trying to open up our hip area. When we say hip area, means the entire navel bend, the root of our tree. The storage of the stories of all negativities, the stories of our all suppressed emotions and thoughts. So they need to be released. Yeah. So now let us see. The next is Uh, both feet parallel to each other and both feet they should be on your hip line try to measure properly hip line and now take the support of your hands again in the back and slowly from here is little difference that we are going to bend our knees while bending to back okay so now look please how I am doing and let's then do together. Inhaling, lifting my chest up. When I lift my chest up, means here, belly is contracted and ribs are up. And then exhale, bend your knees. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit spread your knees. And then Here, spread your knees. Spread your knees a little bit. And then raise your head up. Raise your head up. Raise your head up. And knees straight. Hips back to center. Just three rounds of practice. Will you shake you off? <laughs> yes. Now, inhale, raise your arms up. And then exhale, look forward. Go, 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 go. Hold your ankles and straight forward. Come on, straight forward. Keep your trunk active, straight forward. And then one more time, please. Inhale, swing your arms from floor and come up. Again, put your hands in the back. Inhale. Lift up your chest ribs, exhale, bend your knees, little bit spread to side and then push your hips. Stay there, breathing normal. Breathing normal, stay there. You will go directly to heaven, stay there. Allow yourself, bend your knees. Bend your knees. And now slowly raise your head up and knee straight. Inhale, raise your arms up. Feet parallel. Feet parallel now. And exhale. Slowly raise your head up. 
and inhale, swing your arms, look, look, look. How you are coming like a 95 years old man. Like this. This is not the way. Yeah? So look. Not like this. Here. Okay, one more time please. Last round. Inhale, lift up your chest ribs and exhale, bend your knees, little smile on your face and exhale, push your hips forward and stay there, breathing normal, come on. You are not going to die. Do, you will never die. Stay there. Yoga is all about to kill ourselves, simply killing. When you kill, then you will heal. And now slowly, Come up, raise your head up, and knees straight, hips back to center, little smile, inhale, raise your arms up, exhale. And slowly swing your arms, inhale, and exhale. Relax. Okay. Now, slowly from here, join your both legs together, please, in the center. Now, uh, look, please. This is not about the physical balance, but the balance between your left and right hemisphere of your brain. So, let us see how much you have progressed on your coordination between two blocks of your brain. Now let's see. So, uh, put your right foot on the ground and the left foot forward. It is better to remove the shocks, please. Remove the shocks. And if it is uh, uh, not possible for you to feel the ground, I will suggest all of you to do it on plain floor instead of mat. Okay? Just come out of the mat. Come out of the mat. So, simply follow. So I stretch my toes and simply la uh, landing down on floor. So the bottom of my foot is taking on floor and then after you raise your left leg up and then catch hold here. Once you catch hold here, this leg is not going to shake anymore. Try to stabilize this leg and then slowly inhale and inhale and inhale. Up, 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 against your abdomen and chest and stay there. The toes are pointing down. Eyes are looking to front on one point. Stop shaking. Stay there, little smile. Breathe normally. Stay there, please. A single wave of thought and emotion can distract your position. Keep your mind calm and quiet. Okay. Exhale and come down slowly. Then joining the both feet together again and take the opposite. Don't go immediately, take your own time. Because this is not about this leg, this is about this leg which is standing on the floor. Stabilization of this leg. Inhale and raise your leg up. And this knee must be hold, look, tight. 
Like you are pulling the kneecap out. Stay there, stay there. Come on, more up, up, up. <coughs> when you are breathless, when you are lack of energy, just smile and breathe. <laughs> breathe in, the energy will come to you. And then slowly exhale and come down. Okay, now, Any of you from this group, have you ever seen Indian classical dance? No? Okay. Most welcome anytime to India. I'll take you. So, uh, put your both heels together. This is how the uh, very beautiful Indian classical dancers, they have developed their art of dance with tremendous balance of their brain and heart head and heart. If your head and heart, they are not coordinating, they are not synchronizing, you simply cannot do any art in your life. Okay? So dance is the most beautiful and higher expression of divine love. Now let's see. So, heels are together. On toes you are standing, metatarsal. And knees are spreading out to the both side. And then the both arms are pulled are pulled, stretched out. Yes, now slowly from there, exhale. With tremendous control. Exhale, exhale. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Don't bend forward. You can see me. You can sit on your calves. Calves, heels are together. Both hands your knees. Look front, look front, both hands on your knees. Now slowly from here, inhale, not so fast, not so fast. And go up, straight up, straight up, back of the legs are joining together. And one more time, exhale. Very good. Don't bend forward. Stay there. Breathe normally. Breathe normally and peacefully. Little smile on your face. Okay. One more time. Inhale. Don't be so quick. Yoga is all about calm down. It's all about balance. It's all about strengthening. By running and rushing, you can achieve nothing in yoga. And now, one more time. Exhale. And slowly, sit down. How is it, people? Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah? Come on. <laughs> okay. Now let us sit down and butterfly posture. Joining the both legs together, joining the sole of your feet together, and here. Up and down for some time. <coughs> butterfly, butterfly, fly in the sky, butterfly. Yeah, up and down, up and down. And the simple action, simple, easy action will remove the stiffness from your hips. You will you can 
you will easily remove the stiffness and be flexible on your hips. Okay, very good. Now take your heels a little bit more inside your body and let your knees they fall down to the If it is not coming, don't worry. It's our own karma, you know, what to do. So, now, we have the responsible for what we are today. <laughs> so, put your both hands on the floor. Here. Yeah? And then slowly and gradually go on <laughs> in movement. Now simply in this posture, what we are doing, we are doing Namaste to Mother Earth with our feet on chest. <laughs> <laughs> and slowly inhale and come up. You know what? I, it, it is looking a little bit like so hard or advanced exercise for you. If you are thinking so, I just want to say one thing. That nothing is impossible or possible. It, it depends on our perspective. At least you cannot do physically. Mentally you can think that, yes, I am doing, yes, I am doing. Yeah? <laughs> Mentally you can wave yourself in that flow. Yeah? Other people are doing, I am doing. You just think that, yes, I am also doing. Yeah? Open up yourself. Always body follows your power of mind. Yeah? So let us do one more time. Go on extending your arms. Okay, now slowly inhale. Very good. Just sit in front, like this one, okay. front to me, yeah. front to me. Yeah. Uh, I would like to ask all of you, please come, come here you so you can see. Yeah. Otherwise, from distance, you cannot observe what I'm doing here. Please come quickly. So, let us see how, by helping each other, we can enhance the posture to make it more uh, profound. And if you are doing alone, maybe you cannot go up to that extent what, is, what it is expected to be. So now by help of your friend or partner, you can go much more further. So usually I take this exercise almost in all my yoga classes. So let's see how it will be so helpful. So this is very easy and playful way you can help each other. And uh, this is quite amazing. Now you will see how it is happening. So, everybody has his or her limitation. So, some of you, you are here. So, uh, but by this exercise, you will see after one week what, uh, how it will be the progress come to you. So, here what I am doing as a partner, yoga partner. Okay. <laughs> so, so you are advised to take your hips more towards your pubic, and feet are here, and knees are here. So I am supporting here like a brake of motorbike. Hmm? <laughs> and then you hold it, hold it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then I am holding here. Never hold here. Then, there is appropriate space between her and me, so that her head can be here. So, <laughs> so inhale, look, look, look towards me, and exhale, exhale, exhale. 
Mm. Hold, hold here. And then. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> So, from here, you can um, make her flexible enough, from here. From here, pressure is much more, um, uh, much more effective, much more essential to do. Yeah, not from here all the time, okay? <laughs> yeah. How are you? Good? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Yana, please come here, do the same to her. Let me, okay. Yeah. Knees are a little bit? Yeah. So, suppose some people, that, uh, while she is doing this, you will see some people, their knees are still not coming down. So in that case, again, the third support. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do here is I'm, I'm trying to open up her lumbar part. Open up her lumbar part by rubbing. By rubbing. <laughs> Are you okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't resist. Don't hold. Come on. Exhale. Yeah. So it is not necessary for everyone. Neither no, uh, everyone can bear this situation. Not possible. But she's flexible. She can handle this, and I feel that she can go up to that extent. Not for all people. But what I would like to say that. You can at least support and push a little bit. Hmm? So three people together. This is the one practice, now the second one. Yeah. Please come here. Yeah. Spread your legs. Are you okay? Yes, I am. <laughs> So you are here, if you are not feeling comfortable and painful on your hips, so you can be here as well, no problem. So it depends on the flexibility of the person. Yeah? Okay. Flex. Flex. Now. So, again. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Now again. And breathe back. Stay there, breathe, breathe, don't hold your breath. Yana, come here. Just mm -hmm. rest <laughs> So here, what I am going to do is, I again drop from the lumbar part. This area needs to open up first. She is having a lot of pain here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and here as well. Good? Yeah. yeah. So now let us try three, three people. First exercise and the second one. Let us try how far you can go. Be careful of the person. Be careful of the person who is going to be pressed. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is also, we are doing now the kind of practice to open up our body, to open up our centers, energy centers, to open up our energy, so that we can perform any asana beautifully, gracefully. So there is a lot of blockage uh, due to many factors in day-to-day -day life, bad food habit, bad lifestyle, and uh, negative, th negative thought process and so on and so forth. So all these things must be removed first and in that context we are doing all these uh, practices, it's quite wonderful, very intelligent practices. When you support each other, do it, it looks very playful as well at the same time. And let's see, what I'm going to do is... <laughs> the spinal blockage is going to be removed. So, so from here, now you say, head straight. So here you hold. Please look carefully. I'm not rushing, just showing you how systematically you can progress. I feel how up to what extent I can go with her. 
And then. Pak je takhle ohné. My shadow level is lower than her. Pak on si takhle jako prostě jde níž, než jsou ramena. Then I put my hands in front of the shoulders. Ramena. Then I try to put them to back. Takže se podívejte, mám opičený nohy, šiva, to je důležitý. A pak jí takhle ohné. Chytnají za ruce a pak jí. Hang your legs down. Hang your legs down. Uvaň mi na hry. Legs down, legs down. Super, ano. 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 Just be there. Just, just be there. Relax. Relax. Head down. Legs down. Yeah. No, no. Not hands. Then I hunch my back. Then hold your ankles. Hold your ankles with your hands. A ona si chytne kotníky. Ankles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And now. Inhale. Nádek. Nádek. Výdek. A výdek. A při tom výdechu šiva prostě zatlačí do těch kotníků a vydrbí se. Inhale. Exhale. A výdech. A to mám pokud, co dělá. One more time. Inhale. A nádech ještě. A... Exhale. Ok. No, leave it. Leave it. Pro případ páteř. Good. Zase vypadá to úplně neuvěřitelně, je to velmi jednoduché a strašně příjemné. Potom prostě budete cítit, jako že se vám úplně nenavidělá páteř So, what I would suggest all of you, you don't need to put the uh, ankles to hold it. Ok? You can simply just carry like this. But be careful whom you are carrying. He should not be overweight <laughs> on your body. Otherwise it will be very stressful for you. So let us help each other and do this exercise.
challenging but doesn't matter life itself a challenge and you face day to day life so it's everything is just repetition of practice and positivity positivity to be optimistic towards practice and next result okay so now let's see the next how we can go further we are going to do the handstand hmm? handstand <laughs> I am just uh, picking up something, something extract, little bit from here, little bit from there. I am giving you not a series of practice that you can do on every day, but it's just a glimpse from every aspect of yoga. So now we are going to do something which is uh, basically I take in my class to get rid of all insecurity and fears from inside. And upside down postures, inversions are very beneficial for that reason. Okay? So now we will see how it is going. If I do this, the machine again will fall off. <coughs> so here is the main thing you have to hold your abdominal core muscle, abdominal core area strongly. If you yes, sorry, sorry. If you don't hold it strongly, then you cannot move in this process easily. It is not so easy then. All physiological or psychological, emotional uh, uh, depression or separation that is hidden always here, I told you in the beginning. And because of that, this part is becoming weaker and weaker day by day. Yeah? So, uh, if you are a public speaker, if you are a professional lecturer, and if you are a politician, if you are a dancer, if you are an artist, if you are a great speaker, if you are a singer, opera singer, you need a lot of stamina, a lot of strength on your abdominal area, core area. If this is weak, you are finished. <laughs> even, even all kind of athletics, you play tennis, tapsi and tapi posture, they all are depending on here, swimming also. If you have the less uh, strength over here, you have fear, you have vibration, simply you lose the strength. Okay. <laughs> 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 From Sri Lanka. <laughs> yes, bread from me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Please come close to me. More close. <laughs> so never say no to yourself. And never say no to me, please. <laughs> because I am the man of yes, I don't like no. So, so 
So step by step, let's learn how the process, how the method goes on. So you just take your palms on the floor and stretch all the fingers. Extend all the fingers and try to stick it as you glue your both palms quite strongly on the floor. They are not going to move at all. You feel your palms as the legs of the elephant. Okay? Prostě rozstáněte co nejvíc prsty na rukou, úplně při laptech, i podložce, každý ten článek úplně a And then from here. máte sloní nohy. So your right, leg, your right leg is bent. Pravá noha umíká a levá jde nahoru. Then you go here. And then you simply stretch up. And then? Levá dolů a pravá dolů. Ty jsou naptažené. You split. You split your legs. And when you come back, your legs are straight and come back. Then from here. Straight up. So I hold my abdominal core strength, otherwise I cannot do it. It's always split. So splitting is very important. You simply open up your head. Second thing, releasing the blockages. Huh? Now, with both. <coughs> So you keep yourself a little bit away from work. <laughs> Otherwise you hit your head like that. This will build up your uh, capacity, breathing capacity in your lungs, and heart muscle becomes stronger. All benefits, overall benefit. You simply energize yourself. Now let us do. <laughs> Like that somebody is helping to the other. Uh, as a partner? Yeah. Come here. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> First one. So you are standing nearby. As a, <laughs> as a helper. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So suppose she cannot go. Come. Suppose you can go. So you support from here. As soon as she comes out up to here, <laughs> so you, you hold it here, and then you you simply can help and stretch up, stretch up. <laughs> and then one more leg. Now we both. Support on the belly. <laughs> if, if you have some injury, if you are not confident so much, so just be careful. But anyway, your your help, uh, helping man is standing nearby, so it won't be any problem. Okay. So just some people simply they cannot do because they think that they cannot. So mind game, nothing else. Just jump. You fall down, no problem. Just be bold and do. It will happen. Now let us do. And which side can we use? The mirror? Mirror? Yeah. Only the thing is that. 
distance, distance between both hands was bigger. To bigger distance? Yeah. No, 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 no. It should be short. Perfect. Yeah, good. Straight up. Straight up, straight up. Go straight up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like somebody is pulling your legs up. No. Oh, stand here. Come here. Come here. Now put your, put your hand. Just a little bit down. A little bit down. Only, only distance was more. Uh, unconsciously, you were collapsing your shoulders. There was not more strength. You have to keep mentally the strength on your shoulders and elbows. Elbows were shaking and bending. This is the foundation, you know, the both hands. You have to keep them quite uh, strong. exercise but you can uh, follow after you go back from your office after you come back from your office after day long work and you want to get relaxed because sometimes you want to energize yourself instead of taking coffee and other stuff cold drinks so just uh, sit down on a bench or sofa this is quite hard can you get a mat to mattress from there please Yoga matches. There is one. For something, somebody has scar or something to, to tie him. We don't have belt, but uh, anyway. I'll bring you my scarf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, friend, flip, come here. Yeah. Yes, yes. I have something better for you. <laughs> ah, yes, perfect. <laughs> so yoga is simply manipulating your body, everything consciously. And they are going to be your servant. Hmm. Sorry. 
So you simply tie one belt over your thighs. <laughs> so your thighs, uh, but this knot, metal knot, that should not come on the skin, otherwise it hurts. So it is just in the middle. Mm -hmm. Another mat, please, Yana. Yeah. Under my head. So my head is gently touching on the floor. Like thirty percent is touching. Yeah? And then So simply here what is happening? My belly part, my chest part is broadening and my blood circulation, my uh, air circulation that is everything is coming towards my head and it's simply stress releasing, simply great stress releasing practice and it is going to really uh, bring a lot of effect for your medulla oblongata, pineal and pituitary gland. And breathe normally. This is a sort of activization for your Sahasrara, the crown chakra. So here easily you can see my chest part is being separated from my belly. So this part is opening up more and you can feel that separation. And this is wonderful experience. <coughs> When, so, so your ribs, your chest ribs are simply spreading out, opening up and being separated from belly when we are stressed and emotionally depressed and a lot of tension, simply what happens we don't recognize the separation between our belly and thoracic region. They become one. You shrink. You sink. Everything is squeezed. You go like this. You, you sit like this. You walk like this. So belly and stomach, they, uh, belly and uh, chest, they become one. Yeah? So here you just do the opposite to separate them in order to distress. So in Chinese in Chinese, in Chinese medicine, they always say also the uh, yogi context, they say from navel, from here up to the bottom. This is the area of emotion. This is the area of emotion. 
So to re, re, uh, to release some kind of uh, 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 hidden and suppressed emotion, this is one of the wonderful factors. Yeah, and slowly from here, when you come back. You lie down this first with bent knees. And then slowly turn to right. Be there for some time. And come back. And after this, you feel enlightened. <laughs> Nirvana. <laughs> Yeah? So lying down for five minutes, just simply lying down in this way. On your sofa, on your bed, you simply sit down there and you can go. But tie your belt like this, otherwise your legs will fall apart and this, the effect is not going to come this way. Yeah. Yeah. So this practice you can do at your home in the evening after you come back from your work. Okay. Yes, good. Inside. Locked, interlocked in the back. So the chest is opening up and the stress from your neck on computer, it is also going to be dismissed. Okay, so now let us do some exercise. This is very nice. Yeah, here we can do something. <laughs> yeah. Now let's please uh, come here. See what what we are going to do it this way. This foot and this foot. This should not be in same line. Because your pelvis. They. The, and the, your spine, your hips, they cannot be in center, they cannot look to, uh, they cannot be square to front. For that reason, for the proper alignment, you need to put your front foot on the hip line and back foot on back hip line. Okay? Then, this hand is coming to back. Then you inhale and put your hand here, then go here and then simply twist. So, Yana, come. In her case, what is happening? She maybe she needs a little bit more something to put under the foot. Uh -huh. Under foot. Okay, anyway, so you stand there. Now, go to the process. Mm. I forgot it. Mm. Mm. Foot, 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 foot. Yeah. Now, please notice carefully. Now, go a little bit forward. Go a little bit forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, this is my role. How I'm going to help her, support. So, my foot here is locked, foot locked, knee lock, hip lock, yeah. and then shoulder lock. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I put my hand behind the shoulder blade from here, and another hand, the front hand, is here. Uh, around the shoulder joint, not exactly on your shoulder joint. This is harmful. So please remember, keep your spine straight. Now from here, you inhale and exhale. Oh. Breathe, 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 breathe. Now go to the other side, come back, inhale, slowly come back. Go to the other side. Mm 
So I am facing to back. She is facing further. Inhale. Don't, don't relax, relax, relax. Exhale. Okay. So like this. So two exercises. This is a little bit intense twisting to release the fat around your wrist and. Uh, blockies. You feel ex absolutely new energy <coughs> after doing this, opening up this part. Now let us start. You can just come back, come back. So you need more height uh, uh, under the leg, under the foot. Okay, now jump. Thank <laughs> you. 
was uh, uh, the practice which you can take some support sofa chair bench desk whatever available according to your hip height if the um, uh, height of half wall or bench or chair is much more higher than your hip then you need to put something under your foot so that you can come to the hip level yeah suppose here is the head so this is perfect for me so this is appropriate then you can go ahead if somebody is there with you then you can really enjoy the practice enjoy the twisting and stay there great reason after you come back you feel yeah now let us go to hall <laughs> Please lie down on back, each and every one of you. Lie down on back and rest for a while, just for five minutes. And uh, head, please head towards me. Head towards me. Head towards me. Close your eyes completely. Let your body lie down on the floor like a light rose, which is absolutely light and beautiful. Položte dlaně, aby směřovaly do nebe, otevřené ruce. Dech se sklidní, vaše tělo je úplně lehké a klidné. Zkuste všechno zrelaxovat 
A představte si, že jste růže. Body is absolutely relaxed, let go and relax completely. Do not hold any tightness. Just relax. Zkuste si představit od prstů na noze každý sval, každou kou a projte si to až v krmení hlavy. Nikde není žádný blok, žádná tenze. Všechno je to úplně volné. Now take your attention to the bottom of your feet with closed eyes. Upřete pozornost na chodila. Sole of your feet. And just imagine as you're breathing through your feet, through the bottom of your feet. A představte si, že se nadechujete the inhalation and exhalation breath that is happening through the middle of your feet, sole of your feet. Through this process, whatever right now happening inside, just feel it consciously, notice it carefully. Now slowly move your attention from the bottom of your feet and try to locate your attention at your navel. And think that you are breathing through your navel. It's a very subtle action, subtle movement of energy and that is happening in your navel. You have to just imagine as you're breathing through your navel point. Je 
सभा में कहे through this rhythmic and subtle breathing through your navel just imagine that you are releasing all kind of separation hidden thoughts and emotions chatate se je skrtem videhan skupiku vychazi vechi z vašho tela ktoré už nepotrebujete rôzne emoce strachy vztahy Now slowly move your attention from your navel and try to locate it at the center of your heart, Anahita. Pomalinko přesuňte pozornost z pupíku do středu vašeho srdce. And think as you are breathing through your heart center. Toto centrum v tom srdci se nadechujte. Jemný nádech, jemný výdech. conscious deep breathing to your anahita think that you are releasing all kind of emotional blockages and broadening your heart more and more even the entire universe looks a small part and particle of your broad heart and now slowly put your hands on your belly both palms are gently touching on your belly now let us count the number of breath in a reverse order so when you inhale and exhale once you count the number 30 and when you exhale also 30 in other hand you can do inhale and exhale once 30 then the second inhalation and exhalation will be 29 in this process you reach to 1 dekam se budete vědomně všímat svého dechu a budete počítat po zpátku od 30 do 1 s tím, že 30 je číslo 1 a 30 je nádech a výdech. Další nádech a výdech je 29. A takhle se pomalinku každý ve svém rytmu svého dechu dostanete až k jedničce. Takže, takže každé číslo je nádech a výdech.
if you suppose forget the counting the number again you have to start from the beginning so be conscious Mějte pozornění a pokud se vám stane že se ztratíte v tom počítání tak musíte začít znova od 30 takže dávejte pozor Inhalation and exhalation is happening very smooth and gentle way. Don't push, don't force yourself. Nádech a výdech jsou velmi jemné. Nikam netlačíme. Ani do nádechu, ani do výdechu. Je to přirozené, velmi jemné. Dýchání. See how beautifully the belly is raising up and falling down. Feel that smooth and gentle, rhythmic rhythm. Vědomte si, jak krásně, jemně to břicho se pod těma dlaněma zvedá při nádechu a při výdechu zase klesá. Let your belly move in a very graceful way, like a wave of ocean. After you reach to the one, then slowly you can put your hands down on the floor. V momentě, až vidíte číslo jedna, tak pomalinku položte ruce na podložku. Om Ayin Rin Klin 
Chamundayayutse Om Ayin Rin Klin Chamundayayutse Om Ayin Rin Klin Chamundayayutse Om Ayin Rin Klin Chamundayayutse Saraswati is the deity of wisdom and knowledge. She purifies our intellect, gives us wisdom, pure thoughts, pure emotions, and elevates our consciousness. Hrim is a vision mantra The deity is Lakshmi who gives us wealth, harmony, prosperity, <coughs> material and spiritual both. And Kleem is Vijay Mantra of Kali. Kali is the deity who gives us tremendous, profound strength and energy 
to face any kind of challenging situation in life and go further with full of success. Kali is the be clean is the vision of Kali which destroys all kind of obstacles on the way of progression. Chamunda is referring to Shakti, Divine Mother, who has these three aspects, Saraswati of knowledge and wisdom, who purifies our intellect, and Lakshmi who gives us prosperity, spiritual and material both, and Kali who gives us strength, physical, mental, intellectual and spiritual. So this mantra was dedicated to Divine Mother Shakti, Kali, Lakshmi and Saraswati. Simply through chanting this mantra, we can have the blessing in order to complete our personality in all dimensions, the way I explained to you. So, at least 21 times chant every day, according to our Vedic tradition, it is already mentioned and experienced by many. It simply pushes you, encourages you, and brings you all those results that is lacking in your life. Now take a, take a little breath in, deep and long breath in, and exhale slowly. Three times. Join your both legs together slowly. You can move your fingers and toes. Slowly and gradually come out of Savasana. Turn to right and sit up. Spread it up your palms, make them move. Place them on the rise and forehead. Remove your hands and open your eyes. So, did you follow all those instructions? It was clear to all of you? In Shavasana? Shavasana? 
sometimes it was a little bit complicated because um, some words was difficult maybe for translation. Uh, so I was a bit in Chavasana, so I, my brain was out, sorry. So I'm going to say that 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 I'm going After the practice is over, so we had Shavasana not to sleep because our body needs to, um, mind needs to be rested for some time after the practice is over because almost we did um, uh, two and a half or uh, three hours maybe. So, so we need a little bit, we needed a little bit rest in order to get the profound effect out of the practice. Muscles, joints, ligaments, and the entire body, all the systems, they need rest. So, and this is a sort of spiritual process. In Shavasana, when you lie down, you go deeper into your subconsciousness level and try to change something from there, transform something from the deep inside you. Oh, Shavasana is very important. Pozice po praktikování jogy, a my jsme dneska tady dělali skoro dvě a půl hodiny. Překladu se překládá jako pozice mrtvoly. Je to tak, že prostě jak jste ležel, tak také se lehnete a uvolníte celé tělo. Všechny kosti, všechny svaly, všechny klouby, vlastně i mysl a, a i vnitřní orgány. Ale není to v spáne, je to prostě odpočinek, relaxace, vědomá relaxace, soustředění se na dech. A je to velmi důležitý potom energeticky, potom cvičení, ty energie se tak jako tady v tomhle tom tak jako dosednou do toho těla. Já to říkám vždycky svýma slovama, já to nesetíhám, já to jako známě. <laughs> OK. Mm-hmm. So. So now let us uh, proceed further, do some breathing practice, which is uh, very, very breathing and mudra, gesture. Some gestures are there, just finger gesture, can channelize our energy in different dimension. <laughs> So, breathing exercise we do first, and then we uh, proceed towards mudra. Okay. So, choose any choose any meditative posture for yourself. Tell me one thing. How many people slept? In this uh, Shavasana? <laughs> or maybe you slept, again woke up, again slept, again woke up. Yeah, it can happen. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, so sit down in a comfortable posture. Now we are going to see the next breathing practice. This uh, practice we are going to do is very very important and it's not so complicated also to follow. So as you know that the left and right hemisphere again come back to the point they make a very important role in our life. To dýchání, to, co budeme dělat, bude zaměřené na to, aby nám propojilo levou a pravou hemisféru. And they have the connection with your left and right nostril flow of breath. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, right side flow is called sun, pingala nadi. And the left nostril flow is called moon, ida nadi. No, no, no. Just natural flow. Nádech, uh, je s 
měsícem. Ono to pak vlastně i vychází, že vždycky pravá strana je mužská, ale levá strana je ženská při nějakých jako léčitelských technikách. So the right nostril flow is sun, left nostril flow is moon. So left nostril flow has the connection with your right brain and right nostril flow has the connection with your left brain. Pravá nosní dírka je slunce, levá nosní dírka je měsíc a pravá nosní dírka je opačně propojená s levou hemisférou a levá nosní dírka je propojená s pravou hemisférou. Yeah. So in order to work, in order to coordinate between sun and moon aspect, because everybody has solar and lunar both energy and they need to be balanced, they need to be in harmony. Budeme vlastně pracovat s tím dechem pravé i levé, s propojováním dechu i těch hemisfér a propojováním vlastně měsíce i slunce, protože každý z nás máme tady ty dva charaktery v sobě. All kind of disharmony, they appear because one of the most important factor, disbalance between sun and moon. Jakákoliv disharmonie v našem těle, v našem životě, se právě děje tím, že máme nevrotováze ten měsíc a slunce. So, let us follow. So, always we use our right hand and this is the pranayama gesture. Pranayama means the breathing practice. Here, last two fingers are together and right thumb. Že palec, pravá ruka, palec a pak Here is the right hand. Right hand. This is the pranayama gesture. Yeah? So what I'm going to do is, look. I, I exhale through my left and inhale through my left. Yeah? Not so speed as we did. Not this one anymore. This is very different way of practice. Now what I'm going to do, please look here. I inhale. So inhalation is happening. So during the process you count the number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can go up to six or four maybe. It depends on the breathing capacity in your lungs. So, so you go on inhaling and then slowly you exhale through the same nostril. So inhale one, two, three, four, five, six, exhale one, two, three, four, five, six through the same nostril for three times, three rounds. And wait, wait. Once this is finished, then you bring your hand down and relax for a while. Come back to normal breathing process. Up to three times, up to three rounds. Se zrelaxujte, položte obě dvě ruce na kolena nejlépe a mějte úplně klidné, jemné dýchání. Normálně. And then you do the same with opposite nostril. A potom udělejte to samé s druhou nosní dírkou, což znamená zavřu levou a dýchám pravou. And you don't hold your breath in between. Don't hold your breath in between. But I don't know what does it mean like. Hmm? Yeah. So this is how let us follow. Okay. So whichever is open, start from that. Check which which is open for you. Start from that. Close your eyes and please do. Put 
full focus on your breathing. Don't make so much sound. <laughs> Keep your spine straight. Opposite hand on your knee. One side is finished, hand down and relax for a while. Do the same with opposite. After a while, rest for a while. <laughs> After you finish three rounds with opposite nostril, bring your hand down and relax. Now slowly open your eyes, please. And stretch your legs to front. Raise your arms up. Join both feet together, please. And exhale slowly go. And stretch forward. Straight forward. Stay there for a while. And slowly inhale, come back. Raise your arms up. And exhale, come down. Now spread your both legs. And catch hold your big toes. And try to keep your spine straight. Open up your chest, but don't bend your knees. Inhale and exhale, slowly come down and pray. Ještě nejpohodlnější, to je dobře kvůli nám, nejpohodlnější držení toho palce je vaším ukazováčkem a prostředníčkem, jo? Don't hunch your back so much. 
záda. Look front. A pohled míří dopředu. And slow in here, come back. Okay. And from here, I show you the last practice in asana. So you simply lie down on the floor and from there you bend your right leg and left leg from me. Both heels, they are closer to your buttocks. Both feet, they are parallel. And then both uh, palms, they are sticking on the floor beside your hips. And then slowly from here, inhale, inhale, inhale. And go up, 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 as far you can go. So this is how known as Setu Vandhasana, bridge posture. So here you are. And be there for some time. Keep breathing through your belly. Wait, wait. No, no, no. Wait. And then slowly from here, you catch hold your ankles with your both hands and then go higher. And stay there for a while. Breathe. And then the third. Put your hands as pillars, two pillars behind your lower back region. Fifty per Fifty percent weight of your body is left on your hands here. And you stay there for a while. Again, come back. Hold your ankles. And then here. Okay. Let's start. Lie down in back. Bend your legs from me. Slowly, slowly go up, 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 up as far you can. Chin down. Open up your chest more. Push your buttocks up. Come on. What is happening? Go. Chin down, chin down. Thank you. 
don't spread your knees so much to both sides. Bring them a little closer and also feet as well. And go. We'll see. Chin down. Very unique body. <laughs> Incomparable. <laughs> Slowly exhale and come down. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll, is it okay? I'll be here. Yeah. Now, please get up, everyone. Get up. Last one. We will do Chakrasana. Chakrasana is a wheel, wheel posture. And that is uh, quite interesting in order to, um, again, work on our spine. Yeah? I mean, uh, this simply uh, removes all blockages and stiffness from your back. So, I'm going to show you here. Okay. This, yeah. So, who is coming? Will you come here? Peter, come. So, I show you how to do. So, you just lie down and be like this. Both hands, all the fingers, they are facing towards your shoulders, behind the shoulders, and feet are there parallel to each other. And from here, you simply exhale, and from here you go. And try to look up. And then put your head. So when you be there, don't spread your knees. Try to bring your knees a little bit closer and go further. Oops. I did something wrong. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to support him. Now let's look. Crown. Put your crown first. On floor. Bending. Mm -hmm. Arms. <laughs> arms. arms. Okay. Now let's try okay. one more time. <laughs> no, 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 don't come back. <laughs> go, 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 go. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Go. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Stay there. Head, 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 head. Stay there. Stay there. Head down, head down, head down. Hand down, hand down. <laughs> so, okay, please, congratulations. <laughs> Let's see. Put your hands this way. Don't be nervous, okay? Mm -hmm. Relax. Wait. Taking the position systematically, 
that you build up the foundation in order to go through the process. And when you come up, remember, this part is going to be like this. What we are going to do, what normally we are doing, we are pushing our body up here. Okay, now go. Be there. Just hang, relax there. Put your crown. support each other and do just for five minutes which is again uh, I will show you uh, an extremely <laughs> opening up extremely relaxing and uh, yes result is profound the moment you lie down on this you will tell me what is happening there I don't need to I just push you to the state of being where you can experience by your own. So, so you settle the brick and before that, so you just uh, put uh, above your tailbone on the, behind the, uh, under the lumbar, lumbar back. Before that, so, here it is, again, as we did before, tie properly, strongly, then you go here, oops, Then both hands are going here. Chin down. Just lying down there and you start breathing through your belly. Yeah? So this is one practice is excellent. Again, I would like to tell you that uh, you build up the flexibility for your hips. Also, uh, the lower back pain will go forever through this. As you sit down for a long time on computer and stuff, and uh, this kind of uh, exercises like uh, bending from your back and staying there for some time, um, that gives you much more relaxation and energizing your uh, upper body, lungs and uh, circulation for your brain as well. So excellent practice for stress releasing again. Yeah? Now let us uh, lie down on that. A blanket, you can take the support of blanket over here. If you need, if it is hurting. Hmm? So um, you can do like this. To fold it, not need it. And uh, tell you I will call you a second time. <laughs> okay, so come back please. Come back. Come back. Um, this is also Shavasana. So you simply sit down, take a, a booster or a roll pillar and put it uh, close to your lumbar part. 
and then from here let your spine go and so on the edge of your shoulder blanket is touching here folded blanket and then head is coming up because of the support chin is falling down here so when your head in, is in this position you simply mind your brain becomes inward more if your head is becoming like this you are dreaming either your mind is falling into past or future you you start to dreaming if your head is in this position you start to be meditative to be relaxed if your head is falling down like this and chest is opening up so you simply lie down in this posture sakta kar tai ko shavasana bhagavan pa shavasana chhe ta pozitsa bhagavan yeah so this is uh, also one of the best posture for the people who have um rough and negative breathing and also lack of relaxation lack of sleep lack of uh, mental peace and depression for those people it is very very necessary to lie down in this way to open up more in your heart and head both okay so this is one practice what you can do also in the evening after you come back so anyway now go back to your mat you don't need to practice that now let it be no no don't don't do that now i just showed sit down just for a few minutes and then we conclude our session so this is how the hridaya mudra the heart mudra heart mudra in order to balance our purify our emotion so this is how the heart mudra is Can you see? So tip of fingers and tip of thumb they are together and uh, then this finger is rolling and here you are and you close your eyes for a moment are the sita vasana that is the uh prvni prosti close your eyes for a moment and pay your attention on your heart center Two times, yam, bija mantra for a heart opening. Yam, 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 yam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Slowly remove your hand from your heart. Just feel tremendous, unlimited love to everyone in your life. Whoever comes to, whoever is around, be open without any fear. Get connected to your inner source, your true nature. Just for a moment, inner silence. Now slowly roll your tongue up, touch the tip of tongue on upper palate and Brahmari Pranayama for three times all together. Take a deep and long breath in. Concentrate your focus on crown. The prayer simply says, Asatoma Satkamaya. From ignorance to wisdom, to light of wisdom, lead me from ignorance to wisdom. Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya. From darkness to light. And Mrityurma Amritam Gamaya. Means from death to immortality. To know the fact that body is going to disappear one day. Before it goes away, let us experience the true nature of our being, immortality, and be free from all bondages in life. And slowly rub your palms and come on.
slowly touch them and arise in the forehead. Bless yourself. So it was all for today. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, also thank you all to have uh, great patience and you really had a uh, big potential to bear with me. I would appreciate you all to be here and to accept whatever came and uh, you did good job. Thank you all. Thank you, Eric, great brother. <laughs> so, what's about tomorrow? 12. 12. Jakou věc ukážu třeba na tebe, jo? A ty začneš příběh. OK. Jakýkoliv příběh. Pozor, nemluvíš první osobě. Dávnými a dávnými lety byl kdysi drak na hradním zámku, který hlídal hromadu peněz. Ano, a... Peníze. Lídal hromadu peněz. Jo, ano, lídal hromadu peněz, kde ho občas přepadal. Ano, a přepadali různé. Jste hodně vyhodili s námi. S námi. Tady, tady vytváříme nějakou energii. A ta... Chtěla zakrýt, že je baba Jaga, aby mohla přijít do města a tam mohla obalamutit všechny dobré lidi. Ano, a chtěla tam, aby mohla obalamutit všechny dobré lidi. Prostě úplně se převítla vše krásnou ženskou. Um, ano, a převítla se vše krásnou ženskou, a která upoutávala pozornost všech zdejších mužů, a kteří byli schopni spát. Ano, a tak to Dobře, tak ty jsi tomu Tronzo, hele, tady prostě, jo, fuj. Jo, obrovský prostor, jo. Tady jakž tak, dobrý, jo. Tady ty už by si to tady vykrývala, jo. Dobrý, jedem! Dí, pomoc lepší. Ano, to je lepší, možná vám zvětšíme prostor. Jedem! A zvětšíme to, zvětšíme to, jo. Dívejte se po Jste pod tlakem, ale o to bych tu věřil, že to je tomu prostě. A my se ještě ukončíme, jo, no, to on musí počkat. Pojmuji se, pojmuji se zadání, jo. Připravení. Hezky, dobrý den. Jste tady kvák, dobrý. Jaký dobrý den. Výborně. Kdo jsi, kde jsi? Já jsem vítěz Indra, právě jsem jenom závod. Kde jsi, Indro? V cíli. A kde je ten cíl? Máme tady Indru, vyhrál závod, kde? 
na, sp- na Strahově. Na Strahově Jindra vyhrál si, můžeš povolit, děkuji. Kdo jsi? Kdo jsi? Iva, Iva, jsem na Strahově taky umytám cestu vítězi. Umytáš cestu vítězi, děkuji. Kdo jsi? Kdo jsi? Já jsem Radka Krasobruslářka. A co děláš, Radko? Olympijská vítězka. A co děláš na Strahově? Um, jsem na exhibici. Exhibuješ, výborně. Děkuji. Sit down in a comfortable posture where you are absolutely peaceful and relaxed. From bottom of your feet, slowly and gradually, consciously go and relaxing each and every part. Let go and relax for a while. Let go all those thoughts which are related to the past memory or future imagination. After you stabilize your body in your meditative posture and relaxed, slowly pay your attention towards your breathing. The moment you inhale and exhale, follow the natural flow of breath. As the breath comes in, Abdomen is expanding peacefully, gently, and rhythmically. As you exhale, the abdominal part is getting contracted. That movement of your abdomen is being synchronized with movement of your breath. Bring your attention slowly to the center of your heart. Let 
the center of your heart just visualize a pink color lotus with 12 petals the lotus that is pink symbolic of peace harmony and love Let the fragrance of that lotus spread out in all around and all over our personality. Now let us take a deep and long breath in and slowly exhale through nose, repeat it for three times. Deep and long breath in through nose and exhale slowly through nose. Chant Om three times together. Get ready, please. Take a deep breath in again. Uh. Folded palms in front of your chest and connect your attention in the heart center and surrender yourself to divine consciousness who is residing in the cave of your heart. Namah Shivaya Gurave Satchidananda Murtaye Nishprapanchaya Shantaya Niralambaya Teja Senamu Namaham Yogi Nanchitasya Pade Navacham Alam Shari Rasya Chavaidya Tena Yo Pakarutam Pravaram Muninam Patanjalim Pranjali Ranatosmi Abahu Purushakaram Shankha Chakra Siddharinam Sahasra Shirasam Shvetam Pranamami Patanjalim Sri Guru Bhyonam Hari Om Om Shanti 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 Gently rub your palms like a moon. Place them on your right and forehead, hold face illusion. Remove 
remove your hands and open your eyes, please. So, welcome to all of you today again, and uh, let us proceed further. Um, in the beginning, we start again with pranayama, the breathing practice. So, get ready to sit down in a comfortable posture, whichever is suitable for you, keeping your spine straight. Maybe you can take some support. Look, the sitting position for breathing exercise or for meditation always uh, is quite uh, difficult for all the people to maintain. Most of the people, if you have, look at my position. Here what is happening? Knees, they are falling down to floor. My hip level is comparatively higher than my knees. This is the right position to sit down. What I am doing here, I have already taken some support under my seat. Yeah. So if you take some support under your seat, so what is happening? Here you have a lot of freedom to breathe freely on your belly region. If you sit down this way, suppose you are stiff and because of stiffness on your hips, so the knees are coming up. So what happened here? The abdominal region, this spot, empty space, is compressed, limited. Then you cannot breathe freely. Here you are, you can create more freedom. So that is, that is why sitting position is highly important before doing any kind of breathing practice or meditation. So take some support, enough support under your seat so that you can be comfortable. Folded blanket is good or brick, folded blanket. Okay, so now we are starting again fire breathing that we did yesterday to repeat it again so that it will be more profound. So please check which nostril is active and which is inactive. So we start from the active nostril. Sure, and it can change later. Yeah. 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 Ah, yeah. Yesterday was my right uh, <laughs> Good question. So, listen. If, suppose my left is open and right is blocked, there is a simple process. What you do, you just put your hand here. It changes. Or, this is active, so I put my hand here. It will change up to here. Or, there is another thing. You simply lie down 
on left the right the breathing will come to left you lie down on left breathing will come to right yeah so this is how uh, the process to change the breathing from one nostril to another so uh let us start so if your left is open you start from left those who have right so you start from right again to refresh your memory so uh to block your right nostril thumb to block your left nostril last two fingers middle two fingers are resting on your palm okay so we start so now we are going to do is 25 times left 25 times right 50 times both Twenty-five only. You have to count. Yeah. Now, hand down and relax. Please do it with closed eyes. Once you have understood the technique, then you don't need to open. Because more you focus inward, more you look inside, then. uh the intensity of practice will be more profound so that's why closed eyes is always helpful for the breathing practice all the pranayamas they are done with closed eyes because pranayama is kind of meditation you can say dynamic meditation Now let us do with opposite twenty five times. Do not open your eyes, please. Eyes are remain closed. Rest your belly, rest your abdominal organs and chest. See what the changes are coming. Just notice it carefully. And now, with both nostril, fifty times. Get ready.
relax. Relax your abdomen, watch your breath, maintain normal breathing and watch what's happening inside, what's happening to your body, mind and breath. Look at carefully. Second round will be 60 times with both nostrils. When you do it, please be careful. You are not supposed to move your chest, shoulder, trunk and head. Only belly will move. Be careful. Both hands on your knees. Please let us start. Relax, closed eyes. See what's happening. Now we are going to do the third round. It would be eight <coughs> times. Eight zero. Eighty times. And uh, the bit would be neither high nor low, just medium. Please try to maintain medium rhythm, medium speed. Not so vigorous. Eighty times.
relax see how oxygenated blood that rushes towards your brain after the practice during the practice lungs they build up the breathing capacity heart muscle they become healthy numerous medical benefits are there at the same time spiritual benefit also is unlimited okay now slowly open your eyes please all of you here uh please everyone look here could you please you you only no no sit here just face towards the people yeah. Yeah. now please look at her as you were doing before just do the same as you did before do the same look at her <laughs> yeah this is a okay 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 here uh, what was happening to her just i wanted to give you the example what errors could appear during the practice so here what is happening when she is doing she is contracting her belly that's perfect but in the result what is happening she is uh, kind of movement is unconsciously happening she is not able to look at it even yeah so i said many times but it is simply not coming so in that case what you can do just open your eyes and look at the people or just check yourself if your trunk is moving or not yeah so just be more careful second thing in her case don't take it <laughs> seriously just example everyone doing something something mistake okay so we need to correct so here the face some people they are doing like so funny comida <laughs> yeah yeah no the so hmm. it's very good very good very nice very nice wonderful one more time look still Uh-huh. Mm. 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 Can you can you can you just pull the legs please? Yeah, pull the legs. Mm. Now let us do. Yeah. Don't move your body. Just belly. Just belly. okay so this thank you thank you so the changes i made did you understand what i did no you didn't okay yeah hmm it can happen to anyone so when you notice this case in group of class so then you can notice other people as well and you can help others through this so if i don't notice it if i don't uh, emphasize on it so you cannot um, even know what the errors can appear for yourself you are doing best but other people okay so i am going to now second is 
In your case, like when we do the group practice, like 30 people, 40 people, or maybe seven, five, does not matter. More than three people, or more than two people maybe. So you always need to synchronize it. Rhythm is very important. You know the military march? Just because of the march, the sound, they can break the bridge. Just because of one rhythm. And uh, rhythm master is here. <laughs> so rhythm is very important. So please maintain that rhythm. And it has the greater connection with your brain. Again. So kapala bhati, kapala, humans go. So we are correcting here. We are focusing here more in order to bring more clarity and purification towards our brain. Yeah? So rhythm is very important. When you are practicing with group, always <coughs> maintain rhythm. Or you can stop for a moment. Stop for a moment, wait, and then slowly, slowly match with the group. Yeah? Uh, In your case, so uh, for all of you, this is not just for her. Can you please show? Please look at We are not here. Please try to understand. Uh, don't uh, uh, misunderstand me. Uh, we are here to bring up the issues which is going to be error in our practice. So it is not to a person. It is to for our awareness. Yeah. Okay. Tell me what is wrong. And second. Uh -huh. Mouth was open. Yeah? Mouth was open. Second thing, it should be a little bit more forceful. And this was moving. Listen, the thing is that if you have a lot of holding, a lot of uh, uh, fear, a lot of things you are holding back yourself, uh, this breathing is a little bit problematic because everything is hold here. So you simply uh, cannot pull everything out, push everything out. So it takes time in this case. It's a very psychological. Okay. okay, do one more time. Let me see. Close your eyes. Start. One more thing, please. Look for all of you. This arms, upper arms, they must be away from your armpit chest. 
It's not closed. Away. This must be away from armpit chest. This is the right position. Or you can put like this. Sorry. This is. Neighbor come close to armpit chest. Away. So when you keep it away, it does not mean that you have to keep your shoulder tight. No, shoulders are dropped and relax. Yeah. Now do. Little bit dynamic, little bit up. <coughs> Start. Yeah. You are meditating? <laughs> No, no, more dynamic. Is this? No. no. This is what you are doing now, breathing in and breathing out. What we did? See here, the belly part, the belly part, please come, come here, you cannot see. Be when, when you contract your belly, just put your hand, everyone, put your hand on your belly. And the lower belly is not moving to all of you. Your upper belly is moving. What's about lower belly? That is not getting contracted. Only rare people, very few people, they move their lower belly. And the moment you move your lower belly, you, the moment you contract your lower belly region, everything is flushed. The problem is not in the upper belly. Problem is in the lower belly. Swadhisthana and Muladha. So this part must be go in, contracted. Yeah? Punch, like punch here. Mentally try to punch here with every stroke. <laughs> In your case, Listen, in your case, what you can do, you simply can sit down on chair. Yeah. On both legs. Parallel. Yeah. And then you can do. Yeah. Yeah. Between two exhalation, one inhalation. Between two exhalation, one automatic inhalation. Easy and short inhalation. Okay? Match with me now. Little bit higher. Oh, no? no, come on. No? Don't hold it here. You are coming here now. Put your mind here, not here. Hmm. Okay. So Okay, thank you. In your case, don't do it so uh, high. <coughs> you are doing in higher volume. Second thing, body was moving. Hmm? So, stop dancing <laughs> up your trunk. <laughs> this is very important. This is quite stable and relaxed. At the same time, this is dynamic. Huh? It's very difficult to manage this state, I understand, but conscious. Be conscious, be aware, everything is possible. Awareness is more than enough for human conscious development. Hmm? So just be aware, it's enough.
And most funniest part was Eri. Nejtrudnější byl Jirka. What happened? <laughs> so, he, he was kind of dancing, you know. <laughs> And uh, not only that, his expression is so funny. <laughs> absolutely different every individual i notice every individual is doing different because simply the energy mindset psychology emotion everything is different so your performance is also different in your case what what do you want to uh, ask that lower belly region is what you said what is uh, lower belly means below the navel Below the pukko. They were funny. Pup pup pupek pupek. Ah, below pupek. When you move your belly, so nice pupek. Nice. Pupek. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> so. <laughs> so only not the frontal belly but the side the side the muscle this is called abdomen rectus abdomen rectus and this is the abdominal muscle around so abdomen rectus the pipe the colon and here is the muscle all of them they must be contracted huh? So this is a really I mean mentally you have to focus then it will happen. Tak je jako na záchodě. Bike on the toilet. I would say uh, <laughs> but I would say definitely when you do this just imagine that somebody is punching you. Yeah. Then, or or you are or you are vomiting. When you vomit what happens? that action must take place with every stroke then that intensity brings up the fire mm. 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 Oh, mm. Mm. že dával jako příklad že prostě si můžete při tom při uh, cvičení představovat že vás někdo jako tlačí pěstí do toho spojeného břicha a nebo je to pohyb jsou sami fajnoví se zvrácet zvrácet How is it with you? Could you please come here? Yeah. Show me. Sit down in this position. Take some support. No, no, no. More support. More support. Yeah. See, always this is quite visible. You see, the knees now fell down. Yeah. Just look at the hip level; it is sloped down. So now she has more freedom for her abdomen. Here, abdomen is not compressed. Here, abdomen is more relaxed. Then you can move freely, more effective. Hmm. Tady přitom na tom sedu, když se právě dá taká ta pánek nahoru, když se právě dá se nějak nějakou tu podporu. Tak se nám pohledná dostanou dolů, pánek je nahoře a vlastně to břicho je uvolněný, celá ta, ta břišní část je volnější a má větší vlastně svobodu i v tom pohybu. Jako. 
protože tam dokážete pak víc s tím okay. i manipulovat. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Nice. So only the thing is that you can increase a little bit sound. The sound must be a little higher. Okay, so now let us uh, do the same practice with both nostrils hundred times. Hmm? Hundred times. One zero zero. So which First, you just uh, make a regulation mentally. Just think of some element which has been a big obstacle on your way, on your path. That may be jealousy, that may be anger, that may be egoism, that may be um, anxiety. Whatever the negative quality, negative uh, tendency that is coming on the way to hold you back on the path of progression. So just uh, keep that point in your mind and when you do this, just think that this quality, this nature of mind, this negativity of mind is going away through every stroke. Suppose you have anger, you are blasting that out, you are firing that out, okay? Yeah. So now let us start. Close your eyes, please, and take your own time, maybe half a minute, to think what is there on your way as an obstacle. And when you do the stroke, kapal bhati, so through this kapal bhati, with every stroke, this element is going out and that really going out because breathing has, prana has that capacity to move even a mountain or to say a little sand which is hidden inside us. Okay, so everything is possible, just try to use it. The force of breathing can move our consciousness. Now let us try. Hundred times. One rhythm, synchronize all together.
Let us start second round. One hundred again. Don't open your eyes, please. Eyes are closed. Whatever is happening, just to watch. Now the third round of practice, 100, the last round. <coughs> now, before doing this, just internally, inside, just think that I'm giving up through every Kapalabhati stroke myself and surrendering that to cosmic self. For the greater union, my limitation, I am throwing it up to get united with the cosmos. With that intention, affirmation, let us do the Kapalabhati practice. Me is the obstacle. Let the me that goes through every stroke and unite with him.
relax just for a minute sit silently watch with him don't hold your breath breathing normal watch All of you, lie down on back for a while. Rest for some time. Don't open your eyes, please. Silently rest. to the kapal bhati practice we did our best to let all the toxins go out being removed from the deeper level of our mind from the subconscious mind within those imprints they are sticking on the floor of our subconsciousness mind they simply can be removed through the practice of kapalabhati you feel lighter heaviness is gone you feel more prana you feel in a space has been more broader than before inner space has been expanded through the practice you create more freedom within yourself through the practice because you emptied whatever is not necessary for in material they have to be thrown up as you sweep the house every day to keep it neat and clean to welcome the guest so certain elements consciously and unconsciously they are coming into us they need to be washed out on daily basis physical psychological emotional and kapal bhati is the great and very scientific way of practice if you do consciously and focus 
in seven days, not long, just in one week, you will feel the result. Your body feels much lighter than ever before. You feel like a flying butterfly, but still grounded enough. You build up your fire element. You be super active than ever before. All laziness, lethargic feeling, dullness, they are simply gone. Because the solar plexus starts to be activized through Kapalabhati. Solar plexus is responsible for creativity, being active in all dimensions in life, inner and outer. You can say it's kind of catharsis. Okay, all of you now slowly join your both legs together and turn to right, sit up. I am going to clear it up now. Few information, few very, very important information. I would suggest all of you to even note down. <coughs> After you go back to your home, you must note it down because they are really highly important. Uh, whoever does this practice, uh, contraindication, who should not do? Who should not do? Contraindication. Yeah. So, after three months of pregnancy, you must avoid. And during, uh, during menstruation, you must avoid. And if you have ulcer, you understand what is ulcer? Yes, peptic ulcer, and there is also different kind of ulcer. So two types of mainly ulcer. Uh, and if you had any surgery in your uh, belly region, you must have had this practice. I don't know what this ulcer is. Ulcer? You know? No. Ulcer? Yes, 
So during menstruation also you should avoid this practice. If you are physically, mentally so tired, uh, for example, for example, when you come back from your work and you are so tired, damn tired, you should not do this practice. When your body has no energy, you must avoid this practice. And uh, that's why the morning, uh, morning is the best to perform this practice. In empty stomach. And uh, so empty stomach means there must not be coffee or something before. Water tea, but uh, half an hour, 25, 22, half an hour, 20 minutes to half an hour dip, dip, uh, uh, difference. So it always said, mentioned that your stomach must be absolutely empty in the morning and you do this practice. That, that would be very, very effective. If you have little water even, it's not good. So, suppose we did now 100 times. So, you do this practice almost every day. Take it as for one month, you maintain this routine. So, you start to feel, okay, now I am able to do 150 or 120 or maybe less 110 so you can do that continue continue that 110 for uh, one week more after one week then you can increase the number 120 third week 130 fourth week 140 like that tak po měsíci můžete přidat uh, a po každý týden ho navyšovat třeba 150. So, so don't increase the number, don't increase the number uh, of breathing so fast. So go slowly. Um, yeah. To časování, to, to jako přidávání dechu má být pozvolnější, jako neudělat to jako and as I told you, at least one week you should continue. And finally, you reach 300. 300 in one stretch. That is the last limitation, final limitation. You should not go beyond that. If you go beyond that, I am not responsible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, one of our great uh, neuroscientist and uh, professor on anatomy, and uh, his name is David Coulter from US. So he has been in India for 15 years with a yogi in Himalayas. He learned a lot of yogic techniques, including Kapalabhati too. So he has beautifully mentioned, and yogis they have described only 300, last limitation is 300. And why it is 300? The whole mechanism he has beautifully explained. If you go beyond 300, how it is harmful? The neuroscientist David Coulter, he says. Prostě studie nějakého neurologa, 
že, že když překročíte tady ten limit těch 300 dechů, I don't know what is harmful. Já se to zasekne. Aha, dobře. Tak jakože když prostě pak přestane fungovat, když překročíte těch 300 dechů. Yeah. If, uh, uh, remember one thing, if you don't do pranayama uh, scientifically, systematically, it can also kill you. It can also really be greater harm. If you don't do, if you don't do it carefully, it can be a cause of brain hemorrhage. It can be cause of uh, anything. I mean, really it is very harmful. So now here we did it safely and follow this routine. Don't be so fast because of enthusiasm. Yes. Hmm? Yeah, 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 sure. If you are healthy. Hmm? Uh, and one more thing. Uh, if you smoke less, then it would be much better. <laughs> In my view, you stop smoking, then pranayama becomes just wonderful. <laughs> Because what happens, the, uh, I don't know what is those materials, but this, this negative things from smoke, that goes deep into the blood vessels through the pranayama practice. If you hold your breath, you are smoking, that will be harmful for you instead of getting the benefits. That's why here in uh, West, I think, most of the yoga teachers, they don't introduce pranayama because of this reason. Alcohol? Alcohol? <laughs> Smoking and meat. <laughs> I don't say that you give up, but I'm just saying how it, the mechanism works. Now you are intelligent enough. What you want, what you uh, uh, give, uh, give the first priority, so that up to you. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, like, uh, after, uh, after this practice, you can, uh, after 45 minutes, uh, 30 to 45 minutes, you can take something. Not immediately. Mm -hmm. After this practice, never water, never any drink. Second thing. While doing this practice, each and every, uh, what you feel I don't know, but I tell my experience. Each and every pore of your skin starts to open up. And you start, to, you start to feel like you are breathing from everywhere, not just through nose. So, certain experiences that come to you and body becomes super sensitive. After this practice, you must not go to the uh, low temperature, lowest temperature, or higher temperature, just medium temperature. After this practice, you should not take shower. Uh, 
máte být uh, s prchou, nesmíte se strchovat. Neither you should sleep. So, and benefits benefits of this practice I have no words. There is a long list of medical benefits I can provide you. I can send to any of you. You can go through it. And it has been proved by high medical, uh, medi medical experts from all around the world. They, they have proved how Kapalabhati works on health, on illness, and on psychological problems as well. So, very long list. Okay. <laughs> so this is one of the practice, uh, best practice which uh, burns the calorie, more amount of calorie from your body and you become super slim and beautiful. <laughs> Calorie. Fat. Yeah. yeah. Fat reduction. The best fat reduction. You don't go to gym and do <coughs> cycling or anything else. Just sit down one place and fire. Yeah. Okay, so now let us go further. The next practice. Okay, okay, little break. <laughs> Five minutes break. <laughs> so, now all of you, please lie down on a belly on a crocodile posture. Yeah, could you please show? Just follow crocodile posture. Crocodile is a beautiful animal. You will lie down on this question, on belly. I don't know how to say it. Like this. That one, that one. This one? No, no, no. This is how the crocodile question. Takže paty jsou vtočen dovnitř, prsty na nohou jsou ven, dlaně jsou jako přes sebe, nad hlavou. Relax, 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 no tight. Jo, je to uvolněný. I A hlava je natočená na jakoukoliv stranu, která je vám pohodlná. Na levou nebo na pravou. No, oni jsou uvolněný, není tam, já jsem měla flexu. Není tam flexa, jo? And tell the people when I press, press, press. Yeah. They have to excel and don't be resistant. Yeah. <laughs> a teď bude taková moc zajímavá, příjemná věc od Šivy, o nás všechny pro křupe páteř, jo? Vypadá to nebezpečně, vůbec ničeho se nebojte. On každý obejde a takhle vám to vše třikrát zmáčne nahoru, jednou do hrudníku a pak na konci do bedzerky a všude vám to křupne. Je to výborný jako uvolňující, potom když vstanete, tak se budete cítit jako znovu zrození. Co je důležitý? Celou dobu jste uvolněn, nebojte se toho vůbec a při každém tom, a, dělá, a ten pohyb jeho těma rukama, že vám zmáčná tu páteř, se dělá při výdechu. Takže vy musíte fakt nejlépe, aby to i on slyšel a vnímal, takže on vám i řekne in, jako exhale, to je prostě výdech, jo? A v ten moment on vám zmáčkne tu část té páteře, jo? Tak takováhle spolupráce. So that time, if you make your uh, chest region tight, mm -hmm. it would be quite hard. Hmm? Painful. So. A potom... Remove this. Here. 
Já žádný poštářky pod sebou nemějte a potom, po, co, co vás obejde, tak každému k tomu to udělá, tak se pomalinku přetočíte na záda a odpočíváte. Já, yeah, no, 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 tight. Don't hold. Že, ne, ne, nedržte uvolní, uvolní celý záda, nebo se, všechno je to volný. Just relax. <coughs> Úplně uvolněná záda. Exhale. Výjde. Exhale. <laughs> Exhale. A výjde. Krásně. Inhale. Nádech a výdech. No tak, no tak, no fear. Neboj se, neboj se, uvolni to, neboj se, pust to. Look, what, is, what has happened here? There's a lot of things are holding here, yeah? Máš tam spoustu věcí, co tam dříš, zkus to uvolni. Neboj se, neboj se. Inhale. Dej to tam výběru, nádech. Inhale. Nádech, že se to zvedne, nádech, exhale, nádech a exhale. výdech. Oh. So just one request to all of you, don't be defensive when I press you, just allow me to do that. Mm -hmm. Then it will be more effective for you. Dejte prostě šilově totální důvěru i toho svého těla. Exhale. Ne, ne, to tam žádný tenze, ono to, ono to jako fakt jenom jako dělá ten zvuk, ale tam se nic nestane, jo. Ono vás to ani nebude bolet nic, tam není žádný tlak. Exhale. A je důležitý právě, abyste byli úplně uvolnění a důvěřovali mu Exhale. a nebáli se. Když to dělá na... na... Don't tight. You are tightening. Mm -hmm. Exhale. Still tight. Tightening, tightening, no tight. Smooth. Exhale. No tight. Exhale.
slowly turn to right and sit up. Now let us sit down in Vajrasana, all of you, Vajrasana. Vajrasana, this is simply, please remove your shots because we will do some asanas. So, uh, you sit down uh, in, a, in the inner arches of your feet. So, the heels are falling apart and you sit down this way. This is one of the best posture in order to digest food. If you sit down in this posture after having lunch and dinner, then your food can be digested quickly. So, thighs and knees together. And also, sitting down in this posture simply keeps your spine erect without any problem. Okay. And both arms beside your body. This posture also you can see the Islamic people in a Muslim religion, they go to prayer, namaz. It is said namaz. Uh, so then when they start to pray, Allah, whatever, there goes on. So they sit down in this posture. Hindu people, when they also pray, they sit down in this posture. Japanese people, when they go to Shinto temple, they also used to sit down in this posture for prayer. So this is very uh, effective, not only for health, but our spiritual development. Hmm? So, if you have difficulties on your ankles, you can take some support under the ankles, okay. under the feet, here. So then, to avoid hurt. <coughs> here, down. Yeah. And uh, if you have knee pain, so sit. If you have knee pain, and is it possible also because here are some people maybe I'm just asking because for all the people like that they can't use this like, <coughs> this is, is but yeah no. this is okay yeah. but uh, yeah it's, it's not I know it's not that effective yeah. I'm just asking yeah yeah sure sure yeah. So after having food, either you sit down in this posture 
or you lie down on your left. Both are very good for digesting food. Now both hands beside your body. Inhale slowly, synchronizing with hands movement. Inhale slowly, come on. And lift up your chest ribs, abdomen flat. Then move your palms up, interlocking the fingers, move your palms up. So armpit chest is stretched and open up. Inhale and exhale. Then come Namaskar Mudra and exhale down. Then put your both hands here into your belly. This is one of the best posture for diabetic patients. So <coughs> inhale, lift up your chest ribs. Look front. And remember, remember, both hands you put in a place, chest ribs are not falling on your hands. Hands are away from your floating ribs. Stay there for a minute. Don't uh, raise your elbows up. Let your elbows fall down. And don't, and don't hold your breath, please. Let the breath come in and out. Slowly raise your head up. Spine straight and come up. Look front, raise your head up, spine straight and come up. When you come up, don't raise your buttocks up. Look, when you come up, you are here. First raise your head up, look front, keep your spine straight without raising your buttocks up. Slowly come back. Yeah. Now, put your both hands in the back now, holding the wrist. And inhale. Exhale. Let the energy and blood circulation come to your brain and relax you completely. Stay there. And slowly raise your head up. Inhale, come up. This is very good to relax your brain. Hmm? And good for pituitary activization. Okay, now slowly from here, you put your both hands on the front and then slowly exhale. Slowly raise your head up and come back. And now slowly from there, sit. 
big toes in the back, they are touching to each other. Look. You are sitting on the butter. You are sitting on the butter. Only old people are allowed to take the support <laughs> under the buttocks. Who are old? <laughs> okay, now slowly take the support of your hands in the front. Buttocks down, buttocks down. Yeah? Buttock bones are touching to floor. Now slowly and gradually extend your arms and you fold down. Great opening is happening on your hip joints. Try to feel it. Spread your knees max to the sides. And let your pubic, let your bottom fall down to floor. More you resist, it does not come. Don't, you, don't make your body tight. Especially on the pelvic floor. The thigh muscles, relax them consciously. Stay there, stay there, don't come back, stay there. Stay there, don't come back, stay there, I said. Try to spread your knees to side. Go head, head, extend your head. Forehead, forehead down. Don't hold this part. Go, exhale, exhale, yeah. Extend, extend your arms. Yeah, go, 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 extend, extend. Yeah, like that, yes. Okay. <laughs> Extend your hands. Go. 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 Don't resist. Go. Uh, ah, yeah. Go. Those people who are feeling hurt, uh, painful under the knees, so I simply would adv advise to take some support blanket under your knees. Yeah? That, that would not hurt. Extend, extend your arms, arms, arms. Extend, extend. Straight, straight, straight. Spread your knees. More you spread your knees, more hips you will open up. You release the stress. You release the tightness and stiffness from your hips to be more flexible. It is painful because all those negative things, when they start to go away from you, they give you pain. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> 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 
Is it okay? How are you? Oh. Good? <laughs> yeah? If you have any surgery or uh, any operation has happened on your hips, just let me know. Then I won't. Otherwise, if you're healthy, it's not a problem. Don't worry. Straighten the arms. Straighten the arms. Don't tie it, just let go. Yeah, fantastic, beautiful. Yeah, extend your arms straight. Yes, that's nice. Personally, I am like a flower on him. <laughs> Big toes together. Relax, exhale. <coughs> exhale, 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 come on, exhale, hand straight, arm straight, extend your arms. Don't resist. Exhale, so much of holding, exhale. Extend your arms, go further, yeah, more extend, head, forehead, forehead, yeah, go, go, you are holding still, go. Don't stop your breathing, breathe. This part must go down. Go, 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 go. Stretch. Go. Exhale, exhale, exhale. So, the next action. Ready? Yeah. 
So, all of you, please uh, stand up and come, come here. That one. Love it, yeah? Uh, probably we did it yesterday. Yeah? This one. No. No. No? Okay. Very good. Then. Okay. So, uh, actually, a uh, brief uh, introduction to this practice is uh, we always complain that we are stiff, we cannot bend to back more. There are two major factors. One, the source, P-S-O-A-S, in medical language they say, this uh, source muscle is the longest muscle in human body, which goes all the way from here and towards your knee. If this muscle is stiff and rigid, that, may, that becomes the main factor how you cannot bend, you cannot twist. You look very stiff. Back is not so much responsible as this muscle is responsible. So here we are trying our best in order to stress that muscle, to make that supple enough so that you can move. You can move forward, you can move backward, you can move everywhere the way you want. Okay? So let us see how the practice is going. And a lot of personal data and the virus has been stored here in thighs, back of the thighs, calves. This, I say, the personal data. Yeah? So that needs to be released. Yeah? Yeah. So all the way from the navel band up to here is the area of personal data. Karmic data. <laughs> so virus, virus, they need to be uh, somehow deleted time to time. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This nipple band and here as well. So, let's see. So the knee is uh, uh, against knee is touching against the wall, and the big toes, uh, sorry, big toe, and all the toes they are facing towards sky. And the opposite foot is here in front. Look carefully. Once you are set there, then after you are not supposed to move your foot right or left. Mm -hmm. So it should be absolutely straight. Yeah, <laughs> you have to control that somehow. Then uh, the front foot is you put leg in a way it should be 90 degree angle. Looks like an L shape. And then interlock the fingers. Be here, inhale, lift up your chest ribs and push your trunk a little bit to back at the same time, go down. Mm -hmm. As far you can go. And stay there at least for a minute and come back. Or, if it is so painful for you, you just proceed further with the exhalation. Vedic, Dol. And then, Nadek, Nahur. <laughs> then Vedic, Dol. <laughs> and Nadek, Nahur. So do a couple of times, uh, three to five times maybe, and then stay there eventually. Hmm? Now let us do this practice. Yeah, bully, bully, bully. Thanks. Move. 
of your hips down. <laughs> Allow this to go down. Allow this. Yeah, moving. Very nice. Moving. Going out. <laughs> then uh, you maintain more gap because 90 degree will be fulfilled. So we're like on the finish position there. Now slowly go. No, go further, 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 go Look at the angle. Hello. I love you. Please look at the angle. This angle must be perfect like this. Yeah. Hmm. So she is going much more further. That's why it's not a problem. She can try for this. Okay. Very good. <laughs> yeah, come on. Now, slowly, from there, you can easily see what we are going to do, how we are going to correlate the previous practice to this asana. You can immediately understand why we do this asana. So, all of you, please take the position. Follow me. Pigeon posture. Have you seen pigeon? How is she looks like? She's like this. So, as you see, the the heel, the heel that is coming just below your navel, your your point of your heel that is pressed below your navel and over your genital. Below navel, over genital. The heel is pressed. The same line as the navel. And the knee, and the knee that is spreading to sideway. Frontal knee that is spreading to side. Frontal knee that is not on the front to side, and then slowly from there, exhale. And Stay there for a while, breathe in and breathe out consciously. Slowly inhale and come up. Take the support of your hands. And then slowly arch to back. Arch to back. Okay, again fall down on the floor. Inhale and come back. Now switch the. Did you understand how is the position perfect should be done? So now let us proceed. Switch. Now 
This is one of the very important practice in order to open up our hips. So the knee is spreading to out and then exhale, pull down. Raise your head up, inhale and come back. And support your hands, inhale slowly, arch to back. Arch, arch, more arch. Let your thigh fall down on floor, back, back thigh. Roll your shoulders to back, open up your chest. And arch, and arch. And then again, exhale and come down. Inhale, come back. Slowly release the push. Now switch one more time, but we are going to do something else in this posture. Very unusual postures and they are significant. They are for transformation. Yeah? Here, you more open up your hip joint, you will see. So don't put your knee here. Okay? Yes, here. So, all of you, please look here. So she is flexible, look front. And here, the frontal thigh up to your frontal hip bone, they are sticking on the floor. Is it happening to you? Just check. And then the frontal knee, shin bone, and here, they are pointing to back. And here, hips, both hips, they are falling down, frontal hip, frontal hip bones, they are falling down. Without tilting so much your trunk, then knee is here. As you see, then arch to back. You can take the support of tip of fingers so that you can go more taller to arch. <laughs> okay, now from here, please look, stay there, stay there, it's very effective, even you stay there, it's very, very, very nice. Knee, knee, knee to side, knee to side. More, 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 more. <laughs> now, 
Please look here. Hmm? So let us try. Let us try how far you can do. And so this is again. Hello. Listen, listen, listen. Shh. This is again. We are working on this muscle to stretch. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Now change. Okay, now listen, now listen. Switch, go to other side, please. Go to other side. Go to other side. Knee maximum to side. What I said, the heel must be here. Heel. Below your navel. Knee to side. And slowly from here. Now look. This end. This end. Actually. This. Leave it. Leave it. Listen. Here, I bend my leg. Then here, <laughs> put your hand, okay. and then you be. And then you simply touch. Okay? Now let us start. So this is. This one is still in the form. Yeah. Yeah. This should be fallen floor. The thigh. Yeah. yeah. Try, try. How far you can go? Just let us try. And this thigh is becoming so tight, this muscle. And that brought inflexibility. That's why we are trying to open up and bring more flexibility. Oh. 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 Look, the thing is that you be, do or die. <laughs> then you can win something. Yeah? Wait, 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 wait. Remember, do or die. <laughs> And secondly, he says, do, 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 you will never die. <laughs> Actually, this goes... Uh, uh -huh. no. No, like this. Something wrong? No. Oh, sorry. Mm. <laughs> we have many options, don't we? 
Leave it. Leave it. Now slowly. Virasana, this is how the Virasana So you calves and heels, both feet, they are away out of buttocks. And you are sitting down simply on your buttocks. Hmm? And those who are those who are stiff and movable, for them I would suggest to take some support, a pillow or something, uh, under your back. <laughs> and in this posture, no, no, listen, listen, hello, come back. Gabriela, could you please provide belt? Belt? Yeah. We need a lot of belt for all people. Belt. So now, let's see. This is one of the very important posture again in order to reduce uh, stress and pain and the heaviness from your legs, from your lower bottom region. Because whole day, during your activity, you most of the, most of the time you are standing and the blood circulation, energy circulation is going down. So you need some time to recover. So after you come back from your work, so just you simply lie down in this posture, you lock from here and the circulation starts to move towards your brain. So now let's see. This is one of uh, the relaxing posture as well at the same time, if you are comfortable on the knees. So, I show you how to do. So, here you simply, here you just tie and then it becomes really super tight. And then, um, but remember, you are not sitting on your heels or feet. Feet are away. And back straight from here. Take the support of elbows. Extended spine. And knees, thighs must be together. Then you lie down. And those uh, who want to take some support on their back, so you can take some support of rolls there. Roll, take the support of roll 
roller, the cylinder, spine wise, spine wise. No, no, that is, the balloon is not helpful, the booster, the red, red one, cylinder, on the spine. What is happening? Oh, not, not, not this way, belt, not this way, belt should be here. You put belt on, under under the thighs, no? Yeah. Perfect. So, arm straight. Yeah. Good. How are you feeling? Very good. Dabri. Dabri. Okay. Please listen if. You are not feeling comfortable, take some support under your spine, as I said. Uh, uh, remove that, remove that. Let's see. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Just relax. relax, relax, relax. Yeah, yes. Yes. Wait, 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 no, stand, understand, yeah, yeah, come, yeah. come, come, down. Yeah, perfect, yeah, no. Ah, yeah, great. Okay. When you lie down in this posture, this is quite um, beneficial if you put some pillar like this, roller. It is not necessary just to put some blanket, but in my view, this is most important to put. So here, both hands, just simply, and then, exam. So the shoulders are pulling down, so that chest is more opening up here. And you feel full nirvana. 
freedom. After a few minutes, you are fully energized to win the battlefield. Okay. And here, one more thing, please. Um, as you lie down here, you see, under the neck, there is a gap. So, you need to put some blanket or something to under, under the head. So, suppose here, yeah, it is. So, head must be on the higher level. So, chin is falling down. So, when you are in this position, mind gets inward. If you are here, neck is tight. Mind jumps to the future imagination and dreams. So simply, whenever your head is like this, that is the best position for meditation and to inward journey. Yeah. Good. Now please come out of the position. This now let us start today. It's time. So. Better I would go to the middle. Please look here. Please, all of you come here so you can see. What it is. So, as you uh, build up a temple, so we say that. If you put, if you don't put the crown on the temple, temple is uh, not called temple anymore. So among all asanas, all yogic postures that you do, maybe you have done fantastic for two hours practice, or half an hour, forty-five minutes, whatever you have done. But if you have not done headstand, sirshasana, so then the crown is missing. Hmm? So, uh, the, uh, the amount of energy you have created uh, during the practice, it needs to be stored, it needs to be in a proper channel to flow, that is how the headstand is. After headstand you do, then you feel, yes, you have transformed your energy, because you create electricity uh, in the water dam, and that electricity must be used during the practice. You create it, certain amount of energy, positivity. For what? Headstand is the use of that energy. Okay? Headstand is the goal. There, there are festivals which in the Ramadan, like of the Otvira energy, Afrozi, are the celé zapršili, uh, that you can use the capacity of the capacity to be able to get into the world, so you can also open the place here, Okay, so Sirsasana, um, uh, as you know that when the child takes birth, comes out of the mother's womb, so first time he touches the head on earth, not the legs, not the feet. So, and we have forgotten. So we have to touch our head again and again to earth to get connected to motherly energy. Hmm? And upside down, mm, this is how um, uh, scientifically also, spiritually also, it is one of the greatest, I would say, uh, posture. And uh, if you have a lot of fear and not confidence enough, of course you can take support of one, not a problem. And you can take support of some partner, so he can or she can help you. Um, but don't take that support for longer. Try to build up your willpower. On that base you have to stand. So when my master uh, just uh, introduced me to Sirsasana, I was nine years old, and then he just pulled me on, this, on the mat and he said, do it. He showed first, and then just I jumped to mat and 
in a few seconds, I was there for five minutes. So, um, tranquility of your mind. If it is there, then you can do it well. Patience. <coughs> so, let us learn the technique. That is quite important. So, you interlock the fingers <coughs> and uh, don't uh, keep your hands like this. It is this way. Not, not this way. This way. <coughs> Elbows, wrist <coughs> and shoulders. They are the same line. Then you put your crown center of your head. Take your own time to set up that balance. So, back of your head is rested on your palms. Then slowly from here, raise your knees up and gradually come. Walk in. Walk in. Then slowly bend and bend. Be there for some time. And then slowly move. Sorry. In this posture, you have to keep your eyes on one point opening, on one point. If you move your eyeballs here and there, then you lose the concentration of mind. And that will flicker your asana. And then slowly up to some time, bend your knees. And after come back. <coughs> Control the balance if your elbows are going away, falling apart. So always I try to say that people cannot go to headstand immediately because they put their elbows away. You bring your elbows a little bit closer and you are there. Elbows, elbows closer. <laughs> Okay, so be careful, and if you're not confident, I told you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Come back.
geregelt. So you need to bring your elbows frozen. Second thing, don't put your forehead. Always center of your head, crown. And here. But don't collapse your legs. Try to keep them active. And it's not like this. Knees are coming closer. And then from here. I'm going a little bit further now. Those who can stand in this. Sorry. So from Sirsasana, from headstand, you go to another posture, then come to Chakrasana, then lie down. Simply, it, <laughs> simply it opens up your central nervous system. It's a very good impact uh, on your central nervous system, spine. Spine becomes super healthy. So Sirsasana, falling down to back. So one more time, let us say, I just want to... Make it a little bit more perfection. You Okay, now let us try. <laughs> I know in India they stay for three hours constantly on head. And they do some ritual, a mantra chant mentally on this. And it is very beneficial for your pituitary gland, master gland in your brain, which is in the middle between both. And bend your knees, slowly, bend your knees. Don't spread your knees so much. Shh. Don't spread your knees. Bend, bend your knees. Hmm? Now, from here, allow your hips to move forward and allow your legs to fall down to back simultaneously. Can you explain to her? Maybe she is not understanding. No, she not understand. Huh? Bonjour. 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 Just toes is enough. Knees closure. Knees closure. 
Вок. Угу. Стой, да. This stretch is opening the heart. What kind of stress is amazing? Okay. Now slowly from there, take the both hands beside your head. So now let us support each other. How far you can go? If your feet is not reaching to float, does not matter. But let us try. Ah. Ah. Now put your hands beside your head. Put your hands beside your head. Help me. <laughs> Put elbows closer. Come on, be strong. Go. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. You can go up. Go up. Down. Oh my God. Elbows, 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 elbow, elbow bend. Go more back, yeah, because your feet is going to fall here. So if you are not starting from here, your feet will go here, and then you will be slipping. Yeah? Okay, now go. Head stand. Elbows closer. Elbows closer. Go. Elbows closer. Very good. Bend your knees slowly. No fear, but don't be so quick. Hmm. And now slowly go. Feet, feet, feet is going down, 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 yes. Now, once she, he is there, uh, uh, knees a little bit closer, come on. And then from here, I shift up to here. Then. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Exhale. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Now put your hands beside your head. Hmm. Now go up. Yeah. Go up. Then from here again. <coughs> Elbow straight, elbow straight, elbow straight. Huh? Hmm.
Okay, now let us lie down on the floor and rest. This is enough for asana for today. And uh, just one thing I want to say that all the yogic postures, as you see, they, they though uh, from outside they look challenging, <coughs> they look uh, difficult, but how the yogasana, this yogic posture has been so attractive in all over the globe, you know, because of the yogic postures, they are uh, in America, in Europe, in all around the world. Just because of fantastic stretching, fantastic posture, they are attracted. But this yogasanas, how they came in form? If you know the history, you will be surprised. They came simply in the existence when the yogis in India, uh, more than 50,000 years ago, when they were sitting in meditation, when they were in that higher consciousness state. Kundalini, the primitive energy force, Kundalini Shakti, Adi Shakti, motherly energy, that is located on our tailbone part, spinal column, that starts to wake up. And when it starts to wake up and travel through our spinal column, body starts to move in different way very unusual way, maybe, sometimes. So, and it is an automatic process. It started to happen with them. They simply would take some gesture. Just by sitting, maybe they are standing and something is happening with their body automatically. They don't consider that how stiff they are, no. It's just body is taking some shape because the Kundalini is moving, Pran Shakti is moving. So, those postures were followed by their disciples and they started to follow them as maybe by practicing them our kundalini can arise. Did you understand? Mm -hmm. So maybe because this is the outcome of the kundalini arousal and maybe because of this practice our uh, potential will be unfolded. So this was one. Second thing when the rishis and yogis they were sitting in forest they are more connected to nature. All the asanas you can see, either animals or birds or tree or mountain. So these names have been given from nature. So the yogis they simply were following how these animals they don't have any illness compared to, uh, compared to human being, and uh, certain potential they saw like dog. If you would take a dog for a walk. He can smell certain things which we cannot smell from distance. He can know certain things, super sensitive, we cannot. So they started to discover why these animals and birds, they have certain capacity, but uh, a human being uh, doesn't have. If something happens God, uh, uh, in the middle of night and uh, dog starts to wake up, if you make little sound, he is alert in a minute. So that's why it is said that if you do yoga practice, anytime you are alert. In the middle of night, in the middle of sleep, you can be like a dog. So that's why dog posture, down dog posture, down dog posture, they say. So, and cat posture. Look at the cat, the way she stretches her body after waking up. Her spine is beautiful, graceful walk. So that's why we say cat walk, no? cat walking. So, all these uh, fantastic postures and most amazing postures which has physical, psychological and spiritual value uh, and benefits. So, they are coming down from many, many years, 50,000 or more than that. So, this is still existing and don't take it just physical. The very big amount of energy is being created during the process. So, if you just limit it to physical level, it will be limited. You cannot uh, find the main objective of this practice and you cannot get the honey, only stick with the sugar. So this is only a little message uh, about Yogasana and let us do Yoga Nidra now. Yogic sleep. <laughs> How to sleep in a yogic way? It is very very different 
and unique way of sleep rather than the regular sleep that we do every day. In yoga nidra, uh, this you can sleep in other way, is a conscious sleep. Normally, when you sleep every day, that is sort of unconscious sleep that we normally do. You never know what is happening in sleepy state. After you wake up, then you remember maybe some dreams or maybe you forget many things. But in Yoga Nidra, nothing such happening there. In Yoga Nidra, you are simply conscious whatever is happening in that deep restful state. I start um, now instruction, please follow consciously. Those who can follow in English, please follow. Because uh, translation in Czech, it would be destructive for the yoga nidra process. So. Takže teď pan už přestávám mluvit, jenom si tak prostě jde o to, abyste pořád nějak vnímali, že své tělo a šiva tady bude mluvit, pro ty, co už nevíte anglicky. Jo? Buďte pořád takový jako vdělí na pomezí spánku a relaxace. To je asi všechno a užijte si to všichni krásně. Do all those necessary adjustment, whatever is needed for your physical body to be relaxed. Later on you are not allowed to move even a nail of your finger. Eyes are gently closed. Whole body in, in a relaxative state. Let go and relax. Let us take deep long breath in and breathe out for three times. A deep and long breath in and breathe out three times. After three times deep long breath in and breathe out, now three times mentally chant Om.
while you inhale and exhale. Deep lung breathe in and oh, mentally. Tell your mind not to sleep, but be restful enough. Now the first stage of Yoga Nidra we are going to do is rotation of awareness in different part of your body consciously. From bottom to top, each and every part I name and accordingly you go on rotating your awareness simply without sticking with any limb for a long time. So as I name the part of your body, slowly you move your awareness, feel the part inside and just relax that particular part and go ahead to the next. Let us begin. All the toes of your right foot, you are not supposed to move your foot, it's not the physical action. You just feel it and relax it. You are being aware of that particular part pointedly. The right heel the right ankle the right calf, the right knee, the right thigh. the right hip and the right buttock come to the left side mind is absolutely restful but conscious not sleepy, not dreaming, not thinking, not, neither analyzing. Just be ease. All the toes of your left foot In the bottom of your foot, the left heel, ankle,
กล้าเลตนี่เล็บนี่ท้ายเล็บบัตกเล็บฮิปน o w slowly move your awareness to the right hand. All the fingers of your right hand fingertips, tip of all the fingers. Right palm. Back of your palm, right wrist, right forearm, Right elbow, right upper arm, right shoulder, Slowly move your awareness to the left hand. All the fingers of your left hand tip of fingers. Left palm, back of palm, wrist, left forearm. Left elbow, upper arm, left shoulder. Now slowly move your attention on the belly part. The solar plexus area, navel. The area around your navel.
the entire abdomen. the left side of your chest. The right side of your chest. middle take your attention slowly on the back lumbar lower back region just be aware do nothing. Just feel consciously the part I am naming. In the upper back region. The whole spine. The energy that moves through your spine neck throat Chin. Lower lip. Upper lip. the tongue that is resting on the lower palate of your mouth lower jaw upper jaw the left cheek
द राइट चीक द लेफ्ट नोस्ट्रल राइट नोस्ट्रल breath flow through both nostril or single nostril when the breath is coming in that feels cool when the breath is going out that feels warm the left eye the right eye the left ear the right the forehead back side of your head the crown the crown relax and relax deep relaxation is happening allow that to happen now the next stage of the practice in yoga nidra is visualization i will name up certain objects you just put an intention paid intention to visualize them no need to push your mind or focus to see that image clearly no need so just a paid intention to think of that object to see visualize red rising sun
blue empty sky. Full moon. Running horse. Just simply visualize. That must be with tremendous easiness. A walking elephant in the middle of forest, deep forest. burning forest with big fire meditative buddha Dancing Shiva Smiling Baby. Vast ocean. Egypt Pyramid. The image of own. A blue flame.
Now visualization part is over. Put your both hands on your belly slowly. Touch up your palms on your belly and let us count the number on each and every breath. When you inhale and exhale, count the number 29. In reverse order, you go on counting up to 1. Once, in it, once it is finished, then slowly put your hands beside. Go on counting the number of your natural breathing process. And feel how the abdomen, the belly part is moving so rhythmic and gracefully along with inhalation and exhalation breath. Now slowly put your hands down from your belly. Take a deep and long breath in and out. Three times when you breathe, mentally chant Om.
संभवाय च मयो भवाय च नम शंकराय च मयस्कराय च नम शिवाय च शिवतराय च ओम नमस्ते अस्तु भगवन विश्वेश्वराय महादेवाय त्र्यंबकाय त्रिपुरांतकाय त्रिकाग्नि कालाय कालाग्नि रुद्राय नीलकंठाय मृत्युंजयाय सर्वेश्वराय सदाशिवाय श्रीमन महादेवाय नमः ओम नम शंभवाय च मयो भवाय च नम शंकराय च मयस्कराय च नम शिवाय च शिवतराय च हो सर्वंगल मंगल्य शिवे सर्वाथ साधि के शरण्ये त्र्यंबके गौरी नारायणी नमस्तुते ओ गणपत नम 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 ओ शांति 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 be grateful to all those events all those beings in our life all those personalities in our life on our way who have been greatly helpful kind compassionate in our journey let us be grateful to that cosmic force cosmic energy which is a great support which is the source of all beginnings and ends which contains us which is existing in each and every living and non living beings let us be grateful to that higher consciousness to provide us pure wisdom motivation inspiration and protection let us be grateful to those who have been quite demanding challenging unkind without them probably we would not have progressed on our path so intensely let us be grateful to those elements 
which has been part and parcel of our life. Let us be grateful to all those things that is happening right now. Our breath, our body, our mind, intellect, etc. Let us be grateful to God who has given this opportunity to have this human body to experience the higher dimension of life. Only human consciousness has that possibility to experience. Let us be grateful to this beautiful present that's human body. Let us be grateful to prana shakti which is Making us alive, if you stop your breath for a few minutes, you are gone. Let us be grateful to that. Let us make our heart so open, so broad, so that the entire universe can be fit, even it looks a small part of it. Let us love each other, care and share with each other, because we are connected. Oneness in diversity is the message to be an ideal human being. Difference is not a problem, but it's an opportunity to learn something. Let us accept whatever is happening in the present moment, because every moment that is going to come to us, it will only appear through present. Present is a beautiful present. If we know and value to the now, that would be the great present we can offer to God, to please Him, to have His blessing. Also we can offer to anybody. The present moment is the best present for us. Satoma Satkamayam Tamasoma Jyotir Kamayam Mrityorma Mritam Gamayam Om Shanti 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 The practice of yoga nidra is now finished. Do not open your eyes, please. Now slowly and gradually join your both legs together and move your arms above your head. Take a deep breath and stretch your entire body. Slowly bring your both arms back beside your hips and turn to right with bent knees and sit up. Brahmati Pranayama for three times together. Roll your tongue up, touch the tip of tongue on upper palate. 
take a deep and long breath in. Slowly rub your palms, let them go. <coughs> Lift them on your eyes and forehead. Remove your hands and open your eyes, please. You can turn on the light. So, thank you so much to everyone. And uh, it was really good moment yesterday and today and uh, hope you all enjoyed though it was little challenging and painful so no pain no gain and uh, pain what it came to you take as inspiration motivation to go ahead to step ahead instead of going back stepping back so and uh, never say no, always be optimistic, then that is the mantra for the practice and success in the path of yoga. Hmm? Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> See you in summer. Um, or or maybe when you, whenever you wish to come to India with Hiri, so you are most welcome, we meet there. Thank you. <coughs> so you tell me when to start. Yeah, you can start. Okay. Namaste. So this Yoga seminar is m mostly focused on the practices which can be applied in day-to-day -day life and though it looks little challenging but the techniques have been given in this seminar so if you go through it uh, time to time and uh, follow them quite systematically then it is not that hard and it is all practices that are coming from the yoga tradition from India and uh, there is breathing practice, there is uh, different kind of body work, mind training, also how to build up the focus of your mind and how to prepare your body, mind and breath, integrate them together in order to progress in the path of yoga quite safely. Also, there are many medical benefits uh, is explained in this seminar. So, it is quite effective not only for the physical benefit but also for the spiritual enhancement. So, the people who have joined this lesson, they are having so happy and uh, fully satisfied. And uh, there is much more waiting on the way. So. This is uh, really something essential and uh, quite fruitful for the path that the people are looking for. Thank you so much. Okay, perfect. Is it okay? Yeah, I think so.